Well, Peter Sherman is a former politician, broadcaster, and executive coach. He is also the author of a new book, Millennials, Boomer Bust, How Gen Y Will Save the World. The book serves as a guide for baby boomers and millennials to help them better stand at one another and demystify the radically different view of the world that millennials have. And Peter Sherman joins us now. Peter, nice to see you. Good morning. Good to see you both. How would you classify the two different views? The two different views uh, are boomers. We are the children of people who came from the great generation post-World War II, wanted us to do better than the Great Depression, wanted us to do better than fight a war, gave us everything. Two cars in the driveway, big suburban home, flat screen TVs uh, in every room. Now you've got the, uh, the Echo, which is the millennials, and the millennials are learning to live in 600 square foot condos downtown. Uh, they looked at 208, 209 and said, our parents and our grandparents got hurt by that recession we're going to save our money so they're savers they're just a completely different uh generation in terms of their view of how things should work mm -hmm. yeah. what inspired you to write this book i understand that your son is a millennial so is it almost i don't know a letter to him well i have two sons mm -hmm. uh, one is a millennial uh, and he doesn't need any training in this uh, he he mm -hmm. walks the walk but uh, i worked with millennials extensively when i was a member of provincial parliament that's who works there mm -hmm. who who isn't elected and i thought they were great uh in radio where i was a talk show host for many years lots of millennials uh working as mm -hmm. producers and so forth and i thought they were great and they're getting a bum rap from my generation millennials are optimists millennials are people who want the future to be great and we're the guys not me personally but my contemporaries who say they all run around with cell phones they text all day and talk to each other and they don't do anything that's not true a, a, a friend of mine uh, is my age and so Gen X are employing millennials uh, in her business and she said they're great but it's very difficult to communicate with them in a business because they value different things than we value. She's right, and and we all communicate differently. Gen X communicates a bit differently from from us boomers, and the new generation, Gen Y or millennials, communicate entirely differently. First of all, uh, being optimists and being uh, collectivists, they like to uh, be together, whether it's physically or whether it's through technology to which they were born. They had mm -hmm. cell phones in their hands basically from the womb onward, so they talk that way and they find out what's happening that way uh, and they work as much as they play on a 724 basis so while they may yes be doing Instagram at 11 o'clock in the morning in the office driving boomer bosses crazy mm -hmm. at 11 p.m. they'll be doing some kind of a work problem with a colleague using the same technology mm -hmm. and people of older generations don't understand that and that's where the bridge building comes in okay yep. speaking of that we get less than a minute but why is it so important if we've got such vast differences between boomers and Millennials why do we need to bridge that gap because at this point, boomers, the first boomers turned 70 in 2016. The youngest boomers are 54. We're in the cheap seats. We're watching from the sidelines. So the subtitle of the book, How Gen Y Will Save the World, is it's not just um, something to say. They have to save the world for themselves and for their children. Uh, we have scarcity of resources. We have global warming. We have... Uh, a, a world that's in conflict where we have to get along and they're great compromisers so this is really a primer a guide book for boomers to understand that that bridge can't stop here and here it has to be completed Peter Sherman thank you so much my pleasure